Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my data. So I pull up the problem and I hit that little button right here, over here to the left, we can move it over. That little button, everybody see that little button? The reason I say that is because next week somebody's going to say, how'd you copy? Well, here's how you copy. Click it, copy table to clipboard. Now you could do it in StatCrunch, and StatCrunch will go ahead and figure a whole lot to you, but I'm going to let you figure that out, because I know some of y'all will do that. Do you want to do that on a homework? Huh? Do you want to do that on a homework? Yeah, you can do it on homework. I think you can do it like on a character board. Yeah. I don't mind you doing it. I don't, yeah, I don't mind you using spreadsheets. In fact, I send it to you. I'll send you the one we did the other day. I just forgot to. All right, so now I take it over to the spreadsheet. And I just put it right here and I hit paste. And there it is. Now I'm going to call this the upper class limit. And I'm going to put lower class limit here. I'm going to retype those in because it's not going to do us any good to have them like that. And this is F. And this next one will be X. <clears throat> So the lower class limit is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and the upper class limit is 29, 39, 49, 49, <laughs> I left in Marlboro Red, 59, 69, and 79. And what is X? Well, that's the midpoint. So I'm going to say equals. Ten and class boundaries would be nineteen point five, twenty nine point five, twenty nine point five, thirty nine point five. Okay, you should already have those. I have talked to two students in this last week. They are in other math one twenty classes and they have no idea how to find the class boundary, class width, and and uh, what's the other thing? The other two or three things that you're supposed to find. They have no clue. The teacher don't explain it very well. They are having a hard time. And how easy is it? 20 minus 30. But they're not explaining it to me that way. They're explaining it totally different. All right. That's when y'all are supposed to say, Hubert, you're fantastic. Good job, Hubert. All right. So, anyway, now what are we going to do? Buy my cupcake. You want to do X squared next? Yeah. X squared. And that's going to be equal this shift six two. These are going to be some BA numbers. All right, check yours. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do F times what? F times X, and then what? F times X squared. Now I want you to do those right now if you have them. Since you got them up here. These two columns, yeah. F times X and F times X squared.
essentially the save time could you just do F times X squared and then get that and then when you're done with that take the square root of that. Wouldn't work. Okay. And the reason that is is what's two times three squared? Two times three squared. Two times nine is what? Eighteen. But what's two times three? Quantity squared. Thirty-six. They're not the same answer. That's why you can't do that. All right. Wow. I had a marker, which I do. It's in my bag. Show you what I'm talking about. I hear that a lot. All right, so equals F times X and equals, be careful here, F times, what's the biggest mistake students make here? They pick the wrong columns and they'll do F times X twice. Check your numbers. I don't care that much about rounding. If you round to the tenth and I round to the hundredth, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, let's say you're doing a test and you round to the hundredth and you're supposed to round to the tenth. I will give you credit. Hey, unless the directions say round to the hundredth or round to the tenth. If the directions tell you to round your final answer, then I can't. I'll give you partial credit, but if it doesn't give you specifics. But what's the general rule of mathematics and science? If you start with a tenth, you end with a tenth. If you start with a hundredth, you end with a hundredth. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. That's what you were going to say, wasn't it? That's the general rule of science and math. If you start with a blank, you don't talk. Don't, don't talk while I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> People hicked us in there. Y'all got to control your bodies, okay? No yawning, no sneezing, no coughing, no hiccups. <coughs> no sniffling. They know we need some green. We have allergies. You want to sit or something? No, I ain't going to. Oh I, I don't want to get, I don't wanna get oh. the herpes from you or something. Oh, what? Huh? It literally looked like you died. Do you know what this is? Diarrhea. Huh? It's pineapple juice. No, it ain't. That's green bean juice. It's pineapple juice with greens in it. Okay, I'm going to tell you what. Somebody go get me a thing of pineapple juice. I'll mix it up for you, and then you can taste it. All right, let's ride it. Go, go get me a go get me, Go get it. I'll mix it up for you. I got some in the truck. <laughs> got my juice in the truck, though. Okay, go get it. I'll pour you some in there. I keep some pineapples and some greens in the truck. Yeah, yeah, you sound like it. <laughs> you sound like you really do. Man, I got allergies. Sound like you still eat. You want it? You drink this stuff? I know it'll clear me out. Out the but all kinds of ways. <laughs> You'll be feeling good. All, all right, right, now what do you do here? What do you do here? Uh, I heard it. Somebody said it. They said uh, summation. Yeah. Check your numbers. And now as you's ready. Oh, we got one more. Gotta get in. Now as you ready for the formula. Excuse me. Yes. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You on the so back row? Okay, no. hold on just a minute. Thank you. Uh -oh. Hold on. Uh -oh. How about this? Oh, I'm going to put it on 72. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just love people that can't.
can't see. And where do they sit? The back row. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I can't hear you for everybody hollering. What? You click on the cell, you hit the summation key, uh -huh. and then you highlight what you want to sum up. Okay, now I want you to take the formulas and plug and chug with the calculator. What did I do with my freaking... Watch out. So F, uh, F summation. summation, F times X over summation of F or N. That is the mean or the average. And the standard deviation is the monster that looks so terrible. It's the square root of n times summation of f times x squared minus the summation of f times x quantity squared over n times n minus 1. Now, if you don't take the square root of that, what's it called? Uh, uh, it comes out as variance. Variance. Yeah. Is, is right in here. And, it, and then you take the square root of the variance, that gives you the standard deviation. I'll bring y'all some cups. Y'all gotta remind me, bring y'all some cups Tuesday. And I'll mix y'all up some and y'all can taste it. Orange juice, I'll bring orange juice, cranberry, I'll bring all four or five different juices because I know everybody's gonna be allergic to something. So you really gonna do it? Yeah. I can't try. Wait. I'm on. I have a you know, I have a I'll give you a, I mean a red solo cup, that's the only thing I know to use. <laughs> Are we still planning on having our test next Thursday? I'm just probably kidding. not gonna make it. Probably because I still got I still got regular stuff to do. Regular, I still got another part of chapter three to go through, and we gotta finish chapter two. All right. So we ain't finished. But right now, I want y'all to I want this to stick in your head because this is the out of all the chapter one, two, and three material, what we are doing right now is the most difficult. But it's not difficult because you can use this. And because Hubert's developing. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do the mean right here. Mean is equal to, that's real simple. You take this guy and divide it by this guy. And there's your mean. Now, the uh, standard deviation, I'm going to write it all out down here, and then we'll, standard deviation is equal to N times N times the, I think it's this one, yeah, minus, This guy, quantity what? Square. And all that divided by 87 times um, this minus what? One. One. So that's what your formula should look like when you're punching it in. So the next step, we're going to start calculating. So SD is equal to, and I'm going to say equals this guy times this guy, which is going to be a BA number, 
and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so y'all can see it. Minus minus is going to be equals this guy raised to the second power. Is this number always going to be smaller than this number? Yes. And if it's not, you've done something wrong. Divided by 87 times 86. So when you plug in those numbers, you should be getting these numbers. Variance equals this guy minus this guy. Okay, what do y'all get? I get 109.62. And that is your variance. Standard deviation is going to be equal to this number raised to the 0.5 power. And I get 10.5. Is that what y'all got? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Try. Mm -hmm. And then we just do that. Well, I'm going to say you failed this year. You failed this year. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Not many people, not many people know how to do that. Now, how did you know how to do that? Last year, man. They set us up. That's it. Well, she's a good teacher because not a lot of people know that. Well, good. 33, when did you finish, though? How, how fast did that it take? Not, well, that's huh? That's same, okay, same thing. All right? But you can do it this way or you can do it that way. The reason people like to do it on the Excel spreadsheet is everything's there where you can see it. And you can't see it on the calculator. The only thing you can see on the calculator is this information right here. You can't see all of this. Okay? I'm glad. I'm glad somebody knew how to do it. All right. Now, let's do our own. So this is for y'all's bonus. What time is it? Just want to make sure we have time to do it. 920? Yeah, we got time to do it. Uh, All minutes. <laughs> I thought it was over at 930. No, no. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead. And... All right, you need to... All right, we'll do this. Write this down. Write, give me the, give me, put your name on this, the one we just did, or not the one we just did, the one we did today, and hand it in to me. Okay, so do that. The problem we did, did before, the problem we did before, the one I just punched in. And yeah, what is that on notes? In your notes, yes, the one we did during the whole class. Put your name on it. I will run a copy of it and I will give it back to you. Okay? Everybody, everybody good with that? Put the name and your date. Put the na your name and the date on it. That's fine. Put the date. And pass them up and pass them up here.